Hi, this is Vanessa from LittleGoldPixel.com and I'm going to share with you today a few ways to make kind of um, geometric photos in Photoshop. You've probably seen these on various sites and blogs for the about profile photos where people use um, shapes to put their photos in. If you've ever wondered how to do this, there are several ways to do this in Photoshop. This is just one of the ways and it's a pretty simple way so I'll show you the first step. Um, over here I've already got a few set up so I'm going to just make another layer and on this layer I'm going to go up to the marquee tool. This is the one we're going to use today. Um, first I'll do a circle. In order to make a circle, a perfect circle, you can see that you can make any kind of shape here. It could be an oval, it could be kind of like that, but if you want a perfect circle make sure you hit the shift key first and then make your circle, well maybe not like that. Let's do it like this. Perfect. Then add a little bit of color to it and make sure you click back on your marquee tool and click on your screen one more time to get rid of the little lines. And then we will do Command O to open up a file and choose any photo that you like of yourself. Um, I'm using some stock images today. Here's one. And I'm going to just drag it on top and you hit Command T and then that will allow you to pull in your guides and make your image smaller to scale it to fit. And to make sure that your image is scaling correctly, you go up here and click on this little chain link to, to make sure that everything is correct. Now go over to your layer file <laughs> and hit Create Clipping Mask. And voila, you have um, your photo inside a circle. And you can scale it down, scale it up, focus completely on the nose ring and the eyes, whatever you want. And the same thing, we'll just go ahead and make another layer and create another one, but using square. Grab a different photo. Transform this one, Command T. Make sure it's scaling correctly. If you don't hit this little chain link button, what will happen is you might go like this or like this and you'll end up skewing your photo and it'll be unrecognizable. So it's always best to have it scaled correctly and that's the easiest way to do it. And also if you've noticed when we do create clipping mask you need to have your photo on top of the shape that you want it to go inside. And it's that simple. Now in order to save these for the web so that you don't have a background on them. You would probably want to get rid of your background layer. And you know what, I'm going to get rid of all of these except the one that we want to keep. Just so I can show you. Select both layers. If you just move one at a time, if you just click on this and you move it, you'll see you're moving your photo around instead of moving both the photo and the circle. And I'm going to hit Command T to transform this just to make it bigger on our screen. You might want to double check that your image size is big enough to make large like this. For our purposes, I think it looks fine. Don't forget the chain link and hit enter to get rid of your transform tools. Now see, now, now that we have a transparent layer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit, hit on the top layer too and hit command E and that will flatten, but not flatten our image. We don't want it to flatten and have a background. We're flattening it flattening it just enough to where we can save it with a transparency. The easiest way to do this is to save as and then save as a PNG file. And it's going to give you the warning that says file must be saved as a copy. That's fine. Just do that.
And then you'll see, I'm going to open it. Actually, close out of this. And we're going to just open a completely new file. Come on up in here. And then I am going to do a few fancy things like add some crazy colors. Just to prove a point, we're going to open up Command O, find your file, your PNG file, open it up in Photoshop, and then pull it in, and you'll see you have transparency. You can put this on any color, and it'll only show the circle, it won't show background, and you can make your about page as pretty as pie. I hope this helps. I'll have other videos up to show you other ways to make these um, coming soon.